characters. Remember what we have done it that yeah. linear equations. Yes, 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 I, I remember. Yeah, left hand side equals to right hand side, right? So expressions could be given to you on both the sides. We have to prove that they are equal. Yes. Okay, let's take an example. If Wait, I, I have write three. It. What you will write? You don't know the question, I'll put up the question. Okay, okay. Then after that, tell me if you have uh, you know, the solution, you can tell me. 3x plus 7 whole square minus 84x equals 3x minus 7 whole square. We have to prove like this. That left hand side equals to right hand side. You have side. to put the identities also. Yes. Here there is no other way except to put the identity. That's obvious. You could see this is square, right? So what you have to do basically prove only one side. Or both the sides you can prove it's up to you. Yeah, I think here we need to prove both the sides. Then only we will get the answer. So what you do is let's solve LHS first. LHS means only this part first, left hand side. Okay, Atharva? Any confusion? Okay, how we can prove this? You told me that we need to apply the identity. So you are right. Which identity we should apply? A plus B whole square. Yeah, what is the identity? A plus B whole square? A square plus B square plus A square plus 2AB. Yeah. Plus B square. Yeah, actually, you write this in the, uh, don't write it like this, write it in the, you know, right side, like uh, with this identity I am using. Don't write it below it. Why not? Okay. Or put it into like these brackets that you are going to use this identity. Okay, then write your step-by-step -step answer, please, because teacher is also, you know, telling you to write step-by-step. -step. But uh, whatever answer you are writing, were you getting all correct in the class? Yes. Good. So this time I'll give you the assignment. I I don't want to see the careless mistakes, Atharva. Okay. And what about your previous assignment? You told me I finished nine questions. So were you lying that time? Sorry? You were going to start today? No, I'll send it today. You will send it today, okay. A plus B whole square. Apply the identity for this uh, bracket. Atarva? Yes. Wait. Yeah, start doing it, please. Yes. Three mm -hmm. X square. No, three X yes. whole square. That's important. Okay. That are the brackets play important role. Yeah, I like that. Plus two. Good. Plus B square. Okay, after this, you have to write something? Mm, yeah. Yeah. Yes, don't forget this. Minus 84x. Correct. Okay, now solve it. No, it's nine. So at nine x square. To be forty two. Okay. 
Okay, good. Now simplify this. Okay. You can't simplify it. Sure. Look at all the terms Wait. carefully. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this part and the end one. Minus 84x. Yes, so it will be minus 42x. Uh, write properly. Uh, yeah, like that. And before minus 42? Tarva, uh, please try to write away. No, no, that's correct. Uh, why you are getting so much confused? No, I just undo. No, this is 49 only. Oh, oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. You did it right. I, I was about to tell you something else not related mm -hmm. to that. Write 9x square and put 49 at the end. 49. Yeah. Is it not 49? Yeah. Plus 49. Yeah, not 42. Uh, do one thing, Atarva. This is right, okay? Try to write your 4 this way and 9 okay. this way, please. Oh, you are getting confused. Okay. Like just can okay. I write? Yeah, that's much better. But your 9 and 4 sometimes is confusing. Yeah, don't do this curve line. In 9, there is no curve line. It's a straight line, right? Right. Okay. I don't want that because of that your mark should not be deducted in exam. Okay. Because uh, there are like different evaluators sometimes for the final exam. So they might get confused by this 4 and 9. Maybe I've written it correctly, but they have understood something else. Then it will create problems. Yeah, so can I simplify this more or is it fine? 9x square minus 42x plus 49? This part, we can't simplify, so that's enough. LHS you have got, right? Now, come to RHS. What is RHS here? 3x minus 7 whole square, right? Now, we will try to expand this RHS. 3x minus 7 whole square. So, what is the identity I can apply? Uh... A, a minus b whole square. A, yeah, good. A minus b whole square. That equals to a square. A square minus 2ab. Yeah. Plus b square. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll try to expand this bracket in the same way for the identity, right? Yeah, okay. Whole and let's, square. Yeah, whole square. That's important. And what is this? 2. Where is x? Where is x? Yeah, careless mistakes. I thought this is multiplication. Mm. This time, please double check your assignment and send it to me, okay? Okay. Good. Now, A what here is. Submit it. Sorry? What if I don't submit it? I'll talk to you, mom. Then. You won't be left any other way then. Okay. A here is 3x, right? Yes. So write 3x. B. By Saturday, I want your previous assignment, Atharva. Okay. By Saturday. Try to send it to me before, uh, you know, the class. Because it has been too long. It has been two weeks now. You don't have to do many questions of 11 to 19 or 18. We have done it already in the class. Yes. I made it very simplified. simplified for you. Yeah, okay. Complete it now. Plus B square. Atarva, what are you typing? You are lazy or what you are, that's not my headache. You have to do it. Okay. I have been very lenient. I'm not uh, saying anything, but now you have to do it, please. That's the final exams. It's in March or February? March, I think. First week, yeah. Mm -hmm. Plus. Uh 
टू ए बी राइट तो ए हेयर इज एंड बी इज अगेन यू आर पुटिंग माइनस साइन वॉट इड आई टेल यू माइनस साइन वॉन्ट बी देयर बिकॉज यू आर ऑलरेडी अप्लाइंग ए माइनस बी हो स्क्वेर मल्टीप्लाई बाय ओनली प्लस साइन थ्री बाय फोर एल या थ्री बाय फोर एल होल स्क्वेर एंड नेक्स्ट या गुड Okay, now expand these brackets. Four by three m whole square will become. Atarva. Uh, it will be sixteen by nine m square. Good, sixteen by nine m square. Now come to the next part. Minus two multiply by four by three multiply by three by four. It is. Okay. Yeah, it will become okay. What it will become? It will become. If you see three and three cancel out, four and four cancel out, right? M N. So minus two M N. Where is two? Atharva, two also is there, right? Yes. Plus. The bracket one. Plus. Nine by sixteen. Nine by sixteen. N. N square. Square. Yeah. Again, you are writing the curve where nine. Put a straight line. N square plus two m n. Okay, so two m n plus two m n. Yeah, here. Mm -hmm. We can cancel. So what will happen? Yeah, that will cancel out. Good. So we will be left out only with sixteen by nine. M square. Let me write it here. Sixteen by nine M square plus nine by sixteen N square. I cannot simplify this, right? So this is what I have uh, found it for LHS. Did you understand? Yeah. Any doubt? Okay. Now come to RHS. What is the expression for RHS? What I should do? Tell me. Atharva. Little bit. I have to call you so many times. Okay. R H S. Yes, it is. No, it's not verified because it's m square and n square. You can't simplify, right? No. Can you apply any identity anything? No. If you see. The answer that we got. What is the answer we got for LHS? Sixteen by nine M square. Sixteen by nine M square plus nine. Nine by sixteen N square. So, so LHS RHS is same. Yes, has verified. Okay. Got it. So you do not need to do anything here in RHS because okay. already we got it. Clear? Okay. I'm giving you one question, Atharva. I want you to do it by yourself. And do step by step, okay? Okay. It's it's not that hard. Okay. 4p cube plus 3q whole square minus 4p cube minus 3q whole square. This is the LHS equals to 48p q square. So you don't have to do anything basically in RHS. You have to just uh, you know expand the LHS. to so do it carefully you will get the answer okay so we can okay so we can apply A square plus B square identity for this one. Mm -hmm. No, A X plus B whole square. Mm -hmm. Then A minus B whole square. And you have to subtract B 
be careful of subtraction sign this time i don't want to see any mistake okay i'll do it by myself of course you have to do it by yourself a square plus b square very good uh huh a square plus 2ab if the sounds are disturbing you you can go somewhere and uh, you know fix with your laptop this huh? is the longest you can get what why do you need to type tell me Okay, continue doing the question with the work. Okay. Okay. Plus two AB. So it will be minus. No, no, no. It will be multiplication. Is it correct? No. That is plus. But why three q multiply by three q? Two a b. Is a and b same? Can I mistake? No. Wait. Yeah, 4p cube multiply by. Yeah, 3q. Close y square. Atharva. Close the bracket. Yeah, plus p square. 3q whole square. Hmm. Yeah. Now here no. only wait. Here only write minus sign. We solve the first bracket first, then after that this one. But you have to in exam you have to continue like this only. For me it is okay, but in the do like that it's your exam or a test. Yeah, continue. Open a bracket carefully. Open a big bracket first because there is a minus sign before it, right? Now just expand the identity. Got it? Four p q whole square. Yeah, minus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. square. No, this is actually this one. Huh? Is it a square here? No, actually, that had mistake. Okay. Uh -huh. Plus. What happened? Okay. Now close the big bracket. Yeah, wait. Let me check. So if there is no mistake. Yeah, this is right. Mm -hmm. Now, 4pq whole square will be.
Patharva. Four P Q whole square is. Okay, so it will be sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, sixteen P square. Q square, very good. Plus multiply. No, wait. Well, twenty-four. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Mm, good. Wait the nine correctly. Okay. Now minus. Mm -hmm. Now open the brackets, big, big bracket, because okay. you have to, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, right there. Wait, I'll erase it. Right again. Why you need to write four? Just expand the bracket. Just 16. Okay. okay. Just multiply together. Yeah, twenty-four. PQ square. Yeah. Plus. What is this? This is. What is this? You are not able to read your handwriting. Yeah, nine again. Curve nine. No curve nine, Natharwa. Try to yeah, correct this. Close the bracket. Now, what is the next so, step? Yes. It will become flat. Here only you will do it. Then that's where your no. marks get deducted, Natharwa. In math, you have to show your answer step by step. For every correct step, you get a mark. That's why steps are important, please. It's okay if you have to write again. And whenever you're writing the steps, the servant, uh, you know, start with an equal to sign always for every step. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Nine. Uh -huh. What is that? Nine Q square. Now uh, expand these brackets where sign will be changed as you said. Yeah, minus sixteen. PQ square correct now minus minus will become plus yeah plus 24 uh -huh. PQ square very good now minus plus minus good Yeah. Now try to simplify it. Okay. Can you cancel out anything? Atharva? Okay. Yeah, how will you simplify this expression? This is not correct, so this will be Q for P square.
this will cancel out okay what else this will become 42 48 this one 24 24 right okay right okay that's right then this will cancel out yeah so you are left with 48 pq square if you see the rhs what was the rhs in the question where the question is yeah rhs in yeah. the question is same that means your answer you have proved it right lhs equals to rhs so some basic points are make your nine correct four correct and whenever you're writing the steps put an equal to sign okay okay be careful of these small small things in math okay uh, let's do one more last question that's easy you will find it interesting also a minus b a plus b plus b minus c b plus c plus c minus a c plus a that equals to zero you have to prove this so no l no rhs is there you just have to prove lhs and interpret the question carefully that's pretty easy hmm. any idea which identity i can use we have done four identities that's it right what are the four identities let's revise them quickly a plus b whole square that you already know you are solving the questions also a based on that yeah now i think these two identities are on your tips a plus yes. b whole square a minus b square right whole square because you're solving it right good job okay next third identity is what atharva what is the third identity Yeah. Yes. Uh, a minus B is A plus B. Yeah, A minus B, A plus B. You're right. A plus B, A minus B, or either way you can write. That's not an issue. That equals what? That will be A square minus B square. Very good. Good job. Okay. Last identity that we did. Hmm. Yeah, I remember. A plus B, A plus B. A plus B, A plus B, A plus B, A plus B. I can write A plus B whole square because two brackets are multiplied at the same time. Uh, we have done that already. Last identity is with something with X. Yeah, X plus A, X plus B. Correct. X plus and A. X. Gives X, X plus A, X plus B. X plus A, X plus B. Yeah, that gives you what? That gives me X square. Good. Plus. Uh Good. Maybe. Very good. You're right. So in these four identities, if you see which identity I can apply in this particular question, Atharva. Not all. Yeah. Take these two, two terms. Yeah. Like first two, you can apply what? A plus X plus A. X plus X x minus a x plus no now x plus a x plus b 
if you can apply x plus a x plus b only when two first two these are you know same so it would be a a square minus b square yeah because a minus b a plus b equals a square minus b square right very good yeah. now if you see these two also it is like a minus if, b a plus if, b yeah so it becomes instead of a square, b, square right? man, a, b square minus c square good now come to the third one tell me what this also C square minus A square. I told you that's very interesting question. You know, equals to zero. You don't have to write. Now do one thing. Finish. Six. Finish. How it is finished? I'll save you. Wait. A square minus A square. A yeah. square minus B square. Let me expand the bracket. Step is important. Please don't uh, you know skip any step. So C square C square cancel out. A square, A square cancel out. B square, B square cancel out. Everything cancel out. So zero. Only this was two step question. It was so simple. But you, you should know. Sorry. I made it complicated. No, you did made it complicated. You got confused. Like which identity to apply? That's it. So you should know which identity to apply. The questions will be very easy for you. Okay. okay. Now, Atharva, apply the identity and evaluate this. Tell me how will you solve this part? Seventy-eight times eighty-two. Which identity you should apply? Oh, I know. Okay. Eighty minus two and Very good. Uh, and uh, eighty plus two. Okay. So we can x plus a, x plus b. X minus a, x, plus, x plus b. Very good. So apply the identity. So that is uh, a, a square plus minus b square. A square minus b square. E is. Okay, you did. Okay, okay, wait. Yeah, you can do it. So a square minus b square. If I do a square means eighty whole square. Yes. Minus b square means two whole square, right? Yes. Eighty square is. Sixty-four zero zero. Double zero. Yeah. Six thousand four hundred minus two square is. Four. That's it. Good. Six three nine six. Yeah. Now are you finding it easy? Straight nine, please. Very easy. Okay. Yeah. If you know what identity to apply, everything seems easy. Okay. Okay. Now, Adarva, how will you apply the identity to solve this eight point nine square? You need to apply the identity. It's in decimal. That's right. Hmm. Any idea? What? Very simple. Sometimes, no. Sometimes it's very yeah. simple. Yeah. Hmm. Nine two nine zero point one whole square. Nine minus zero point one whole square. So, which identity you can apply here? A square. Or nine square, is it nine square? A square, or third one? It seems like nine now. That's okay. Plus b square, yeah. Right. So we can do here nine square minus two ab. Ab means a is nine, b is zero point one plus zero point one whole square. Right. What is nine square? Nine square is eighty one. So eighty one minus two times nine is eighty. Eighteen multiplied by zero point one is one point eight. Wait, wait, wait. Wait a second. Hmm. 
Shall we to continue? Yes. yes. What Plus is zero point one whole square? Zero point zero point zero one. Yeah. Just you need to solve them now. So eighty one. What you will get minus plus is minus, right? So you will subtract yes. them. You will be left with minus. Are you using calculator? No. I'm not using any calculator. I'm just. So one point eight minus so eight point nine. One point zero one. One point eight one. What? Atarva, you are solving these two now, right? Minus yes. plus is minus. So one point eight minus zero point nine is. You will subtract. Zero. Yeah, zero point yes. nine only. You will subtract what you are doing. This will become eighteen. This will become zero. Eighteen minus yeah. nine is point nine. So zero Actually, point nine. It's one. Zero point zero one. Oh, I thought you have written zero point nine. Wait. Zero point zero one. Zero point zero one. Yeah. Okay. Then solve again. Then this will not be zero point nine. One point eight uh, minus zero point zero one. Hmm. Atharva, you can do it on the board if you don't have a pencil and a notebook with you. Okay. Yeah. So, ouch. minus plus is minus. Yeah. So 1.79. Yeah. So 81 minus 1.79 equals. Eight. Okay. Wait. 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 Seven. Nine. Point twenty one. Correct. Seventy nine point two one. Okay. Now this one more question we have to do, which is not uh, that easy. Uh, suppose I have to solve one point zero five times nine point five using identity only. Using identity. So what I should do? Any idea? Uh... If you try to expand one point zero five, you can write one plus zero point five, right? If you try to expand nine point five, you can write nine plus zero point five, or even you can do ten minus zero point five. But still, you are not able to use any of the identity. Any of these four, will you be able to use? No. So what we should do? So we have to take. Multiply it. Sorry. Sorry. We have to do what? Directly multiply it. No. That's not the option. We have to apply the identity. So what we can do, you, you have to think this mentally that what I should do so that the, the value doesn't change, but still you are able to apply the identity. In that case, what I can do, Atarva, one point zero five. Let's try to keep it same, and I am changing this nine point five to let's take zero point. Uh, nine five, and I'll multiply this by ten. Why? Because if uh, even if I do zero point nine five times ten, the answer is nine point five. I'm not yes. anyway changing the question, right? Uh, my yes. focus will be on these two terms so that I'm able to apply the identity. Mm. Okay. Did you, did you get this step? Okay. Now it's easy. It's easy. Okay. What you will do? So tell me if it is easy. Uh, one plus zero point five. Zero point zero five. Okay. Okay. And for zero point nine five, one minus. Zero point zero five. Correct. And keep this multiply by ten same. Right. Now which identity yes. we are able to apply here directly? 
in these two? Tell x me. X plus A, X plus B. How? Oh, okay. No. No. X plus A, yeah, X plus. Yeah. No, but there is no plus. It is minus. It is easy. A plus B, A minus B. Why not that, that entity? Yes. Right, a that's plus, pretty easy. A plus B, A minus B. A square minus B square, yeah. So A square is one whole square here, right? Yes, there is someone. A, yeah, one minus B square is 0 0.05 0 whole square. 0.0025. Wait, I'll write it. 0.0025. But yes, you're skipping the step. If you don't write the steps, your marks are deducted. Yeah. Now multiply by this 10. Okay, now solve it. First do the multiplication because you have to follow the board mass rule. Now first you will solve, solve the multiplication part, please. So we can do it as 0 0.025. Zero point, uh, yeah. Right, Did you write trip? Wait. Did you write this uh, triple zero here? That's four actually over here. Uh, that means zero point triple zero two five. Yes. Why triple zero? There is zero triple. five, double zero only, no triple zero. Atarva, okay. Only two zeros, not three zeros. So okay. if you multiply by this two uh, ten, you will get one zero you have to remove. So zero point zero two five. So one minus zero point zero two five. What you will get? Yes. So it will be zero point. No, wait, we are not getting the right answer. Zero point, yeah, nine seven five. But if I do actually one point zero five times uh, nine point zero five, right? That's the question. I should get uh, the other answer. Yes. I should get uh, nine point nine seven five. Wait. Okay. Check the zero. Have we put the zero correctly? Placement of yes. zero. Please check it. Yes. Zero point zero five zero point zero five. Yeah, it is the uh, correct only zero point double zero two five. Okay. Yeah, according to the question, then we don't have to solve multiplication of ten first. We have to go left to right only. Otherwise, we won't get the answer right. That yes. means we will solve the uh, minus part only first, Atharva. 1 minus 0 0.0025 is going to give me 0 0.9975, right? Multiply by this 10. At the end, only multiply by this 10. The reason being because after, you know, changing it into this 9.5 into 0 0.95, I keep the 10th uh, part at the end here. Can you see it? This part. That's why we will, uh, you know, after finding the answer only, just multiply the answer by 10. Wait, wait, wait. A minute. Sure. Yeah, any confusion? 
a plus b a minus b so it will become a square minus b square yeah you did it right so a square minus b square we did oh. a square minus b square 1 square minus so 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0. 0.0 0 0.05 0 0 0 0.025 no like why triple this zero is... no it will be 0. 0.025 0, 0, 0.025 only two zeros okay you will subtract this from 1 first then multiply it at the end with 10 okay 0. 0. 9975 yeah that's 9.9975 9, 9, 9, yeah now the answer is right did you understand <sighs> yes okay Atharva, now uh, see this question 1.02 whole square minus 0 0.98 whole square what identity i can apply here to solve this expression very easy tell me which identity you can apply first second third or fourth atharva mm, we can do Why do you need to complicate it? Look at the question. No, don't try to do it like this. Look at the question carefully. I know yes, you are sir. doing it by doing a plus b whole square. That will be there. That will take long. Try to get a short. If you can apply the identity directly, why not to go for a shorter route? Yes. So we can do a, a, a square minus b square. Yeah, a, a square minus b square identity is what? a plus b, a minus b directly you can yeah. apply. Right. What is a here? So it is 2. What? What? 0 0.01. Which question you are looking at? 1.02. Why 0 0.01 or 0 0.02? 1.02. .02. Yeah, 1.02 plus 0 0.98, right? So and next, two. okay, don't tell me the answer directly. I want step by step answer. 1.02 minus 0 0.98, like that, Atharva. Got it? Yeah, 1.02 plus 0 0.98 is 2. Multiply by what is this? 1 0 minus 0 0.04. 0 0.04, okay. The answer would be 0. 8. Yeah, 0 0.08. 0 0.04 times yes. 2 is 8, right? That's why. Did you understand? Yes, understood. Any doubt? Mm, no.